know, we're at this website right now, and you're going to be putting in certain coordinates. If you could walk our audience through this, so if they want to check this out themselves, they can do that. Where are we going? All right. Well, we'll go to Stellarium, and you would just any any uh, observatory you'd want. We're using the uh, University of Maryland, so me and him both have the same screen, and we set the date over here in the left. It would see the date time window. You'd set it okay. to 9-23, 2017. So we're looking in the future right now. Yeah, it's um, this is just star charts. It's showing you where stars and objects in the sky, where they will be based on complex algorithms and math, you know. Oh, yeah, sure. Very cool. So you're so, putting the date in, and then we're going to go check out a certain area in the sky, and you found something pretty cool out there. All right, what's going on here is um, you're looking at it, basically, and that's the only time this happens. I don't know. There's like a little glitch going on, but the moon's right there. And um, when you look at this, the sun goes over, is on our shoulder, but as sunrise happens that day, you can kind of progress it. Watch as the moon moves. It's under our feet, right? Speed it up just a little bit. We're, we're, we're just waiting. And you'll see the moon here come up here once the sun comes up. And this is just, like I said, uh, right there it is. So there's sunrise at this from this perception. But the sun's literally clothing Virgo, the woman in the sky. And the moon's at her feet. So you can go back to that reference and pause it right there if you want. But this is the only time, and and you can ask anybody, look it up, reference it for yourself. It's never happened before. Some Christians say that it's happened on September 11th, something, something B.C., and that was the actual day Jesus was born. There's no solid evidence that I found of that, so that's your own interpretation. But when, when you're looking at it, if you go, I mean, right back to what we were talking about, if you pull up the verse again, you look. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head. So you just go back and look. And what you're realizing here is the constellation of Leo. And it has nine major stars in it. And this is another uh, marker point. This is another key point for the, the time. This is the signal of the time, and that's what the Bible is telling us here. Mercury, Mars, and Venus. All right. Enter with the moon under Virgo, Jupiter, in the middle section, the sun draping her over her and clothing her. All right. So this is the only time that there would be 12 stars, the Mo Venus, Mars, Mercury, Leo, the nine major stars in that, and the moon, Jupiter, and the sun. This the only time all of those come down in a straight line like this over Virgo, okay? And never again will it happen, says these star charts. So, I mean... That's pretty obvious, right? Uh, to me, I mean, it seems like... Uh, well, so you're saying is 2017 is... Good. I didn't mean to interrupt there, I'm sorry. You're saying 2017 yeah. is going to be the time when that's discussed in Revelations then, essentially. The what? Yes, what, what chapter 12... Revelations chapter 12 said, the first sign, this is the sign that appeared in heaven... They did, when they say heaven, that's what they mean. They mean the sky. Okay, and you're and it's if you look at the the title, the woman and the red dragon. Okay, so then you also go back to ancient Oriental prophecies, and they also talk about the red dragon, and then the Hopi talk about the red kachina. So right. this very well, you could have just hit the nail on the head. Possibly, I mean, I'm I, I have to be as neutral as possible on this, but if what exactly. you're describing is correct then this could possibly be the date for Revelations 12. And if that's the case, it was exposed here first, Leak Project, folks, with Jason. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestinetimelord. This is pretty cool. The next point is, it says she was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Now, in astrology, um... You can basically say the only time, and this is why you could say the only time, another marker for saying this was the only time, is Jupiter will cross through the legs. And if you say that uh, in the constellation and astrology world, that means a pregnancy. And if you consider 
Jupiter being another star in the Virgo picture, you know, the, the Virgo constellation, it would give her a belly bump, you know. So she's about to burst, you know, it's the idea. So that's, they were talking about astrology in the terms that they had at the time. Um, and that's what they meant. And that's the only time you can consider Jupiter to be birthed. And why would you say it was Jupiter appearing as the sign instead of maybe Nibiru or a moon of Nibiru or anything, you know? Why am I saying that it was Jupiter, okay? But this is why. So you go to the next, uh, you can skip past the, the dragon just for a moment. And it says, she gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. All right. Now, anybody that can, I mean, you can do a basic search of Jupiter and find out it is literally like the male symbol. It is the symbol for a male, like, like the dominant male.